Car starting on this side of the car now. Same deal. The mud guard's not too bad on this side. But it's got that. So the bottom's got to be cut off through here. Pretty much. It's cut straight through there. Down. Pick off these welds. Throw that in the bin. Make a new one. Clean all this. See what's going on. You know, the backs, the other side will be like that as well. I'll do the back when the time comes. Right, but right now, first thing I'm going to do is take this inner guard off. We've got it, it's got all the little screws here, you can't see them, but I'll heat it up with that to get them off. It's got a bit of damage here as well, nowhere near as bad as the other side, so I'll also have to fix that. So this first, then that. I don't know what this stuff is, but it's, it's like putty or something. It's not, that's not bulk. Unless it's still soft. Anyway, I'm just going to cut through here, straight through to there, cut down here, and under these spot welds, get that out of there and see what's left of right. it. Cut, cut that shit off there. Basically, yeah, I'm going to have to work these spot welds. This is only just getting in and saving this. So, went on to make these cars, all in behind here is bare metal, up under here. To about there's bare, then they spray that rock guard stuff. So I'm gonna spray up inside here, I'm gonna spray all um, rust converter that turns into this other stuff and it's like leaves a primer, and then I blast fish oil up into it. Anyway, I've got to get this off next. Just getting this edge right, because like, there's too much metal here. So what you do is you heat that up, red hot, you hit it down, put your dolly under there, tap it. So it's split a bit here. It's making this guard. The, the metal in that edge is nothing. It's just been stretched that much. So anyway, that's you, you, hot, you hot shrink that, get that right. So I'll do the same down here. So that guard, that repair might look bad, but realistically, that's an easy repair. Any second year apprentice can fix that. That's just a dead basic everyday garden variety repair. So I'll, I'll make that patch soon, but yeah, first I've got to, I want to get this guard uh, wheel arch done, and then I'll make the patch. But that's all got to be sandblasted. I'm not putting it back over like that. That's beyond rust repair, um, rust converter that. That's got to be sandblasted. There's a hole here, and it's all got to have that rust converter blasted up inside there and primed and painted. Hard uh, to see that, but it's done. When you're hot shrinking, it's easier to have someone help you. It's all split in a couple of spots. I'll weld that up when the time comes. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit more and then make this patch. But probably sandblast that tomorrow. I'm just going to make the patch and I'll fix that when I get now just for a patch. Wheel arch is done. It's done in there. I'll make a patch tomorrow. I'm going to sandblast this tomorrow. There's the old bit. Where it belongs. Got this bit of steel here. It's it's actually off a washing machine, I think it was. It'll do fine. The thing I like about it, it's painted on the inside, so it'll take a long time before that ever rusts. So it's already got a 90 edge on it. Plus I'm gonna use that 90 as well. I'm gonna fold that over. And then end it. that's the makings of the patch. I'll put a little lip there where it joins down the bottom and that's basically it it's basically the bottom of the guard it's got to be trimmed here pulled into position and there's nothing to them really having that edge there makes it a lot harder to shape it without that you just bend it any way you want but that, that really makes it a lot different but yeah, that's it. Oh, that's all been sandblasted. Come up pretty good. It's got a couple of holes here. A couple of little holes. We'll sort that out when I get back. It's been treated. It's painted with rust guard. That'll be just waiting for us to come back. Put this patch. Here's our patch. That'll be going on. Fits on pretty good already. Just got to you know, cut it to shape and pull it in as you weld it. That's basically made that bottom. Anyway, thanks for watching that. What I'll show you is the exhaust on this car. That's that's the rear, I think. Pretty sure that's the rear. There's no more. 
that comes out of the tuned extractors like that, and then it's got all this stuff here. That's the back of the car. It's not a very long car. They're the tailpipes. Yeah, they need redoing, but how nice is that? You've never seen a car with tuned exhaust like that. And the extractors are just as impressive, if not more impressive. But that's got to be remade, unfortunately. I'd hate to have to buy a stainless, get something like that made out of stainless. It cost you a fortune. This is a work of art. Anyway, thanks for that. Car out. I'll look, this side will be staying. I'll flip the car around when I get back from Sydney so I can work on this side. I'll finish that, then I'll start on the back there first. Do that side, do the other side. I'm hoping the back's not too bad. Then get the doors done. And finish off the boot lid. Okay, I'm back on the Honda now. Takes a little bit to get back going. I've got to set everything back up. I want to put this patch in there. First I'm going to have to do something with this stuff. I'll probably, I don't know, we'll cut that out and weld something in there. But yeah. At the moment I'm wearing my Australian safety boots because I've got a busted toe. And I don't want to rip my toenail off. It's just about to come off. Not much fun. Anyway, get into it. there, 5-2 mix. It's 93% uh, argon. 5% CO2 and it's 2% uh, O2. And there's that welded in there. It's a bit hard to see it. It doesn't really focus properly, but we've got that bit welded. Just got to do this bit and then paint something on that. Get this patch on. It's dragging on. And there's that stuff done. It's a bit more repaired along here. Just put that rust gauge stuff over it. Now I'll put this patch on. Later on down the track, I'll drill up in behind here somewhere and flood in there with fish oil inside the seals, both sides. But realistically, when I was going to take the guards off, I should have. I should have picked it off along here. It would have been way, way better, but it's too late now. The guards aren't coming off. Right, there's that well, that patch all done. It turned out pretty good, really. But I tell you what, that stuff, Incredibly hard to weld. Never welded a car that bad. That's just bad. Anyway, it's welded in good. It's got a little bit of oil can here, but that's nothing. I'll just hot shrink that. One or two hot shrinks, that'll be gone. Anyway, that took a lot longer than I thought all day to just to put that patch on and do the stuff under there. Anyway, I'll whack a little video on. That's where I'm at at the moment. So next stage is grind all that off, dress it up, and there's a few dents here and there that need fixing, and basically I'll just give the whole thing a skimmer bog. Just this area here, this top section's done. I don't know what that is, it's a little, might have been a bit of water there. I'll fix that too. Anyway, the door's got to go on, make sure it's all lines up. I'm pretty happy with it. It's turned out all right. It's, it's turned out good, I should say. Anyway, thanks for that.